Hi there, I'm David H. Lee with the Log Builders Workshop and today I thought we'd take a look at a couple of tools that I use in the workshop. One of them is, uh, I'm sure you're all familiar with, it's the uh, chalk line and uh, it has uh, some good uses. And the other one is an ink line which is a, a Japanese um, product and, and I'll show you the differences and why I like the ink line. The first one is the uh, chalk line. You know, it's, they come in all shapes and sizes, they've got a handle, you uh, take the cable, you pull it out, or the string, it has chalk on this, so I don't know whether you can see, but it leaves the chalk, and then when you're finished, you wind it up, uh, so put away the little handle, and you're done. The second one is the Japanese ink, ink line. This one has a pin on the end. And the nice thing about the pin is uh, you can stick it into wood and you can pull it out. But the other nice thing about it is it's spring-loaded. So when you finish, you can put it away. Let's take a look at some of the differences. So we take our, our chalk line and we pull it out and we snap the line. The issue I have with the chalk line is that it leaves quite a bit of chalk kicking around. So there's the main line, but there's a lot of chalk, and, and the line is still fairly thick. In comparison to the, uh, the chalk line, we can use the ink line. The nice part is that it sticks in the end, so it'll never fall off. Well, it shouldn't. You stretch it out and snap a line, and it's an extremely sharp thin line uh, which increases the accuracy hugely and of course it puts itself away the chalk line is um, has a top that you can unscrew it's got a little piece of um, felt in the top to kind of keep it from uh, putting out excess chalk uh, you just take your chalk you fill it up put it away slide the top back on and screw it. It's a pretty simple process um, and they're great. I, I find these great for doing things like um, rough lumber work if I'm you know maybe laying out a roof or something like that. Um, they leave a good solid line and uh, you can see them. Um, it's maybe not as accurate but it, it's a good, good tool. Um, in comparison, the ink line um, is, is a very sort of precision tool in comparison. Um, it's got the, the winder here, as you can probably see. On the back, if you need to let out more line, there's a little button here that lets off the tension, or you can wind it back up. Um, and you can fill up, you take your ink, and you fill up the ink in here, like so. In order to get at the guts of the chalk line, you just take the top off, you unscrew these two screws, and you can replace the string. You tie a new string on the end. Um, it's pretty, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. In order to get at the, uh, the guts of the ink line, uh, you can just pull it apart like this. You can take off this little washer and you can open it up and I don't know whether you can see inside but here is the, oops, here is the, uh, the line you can put a new line on. You put it back together, put the, uh, the other top on like that. Make sure you don't trap the string. Put the O-ring back on, take the top, find the place that it fits together and it locks back together. And now what you have to do is you have to turn it over and wind it up like so until you get the tension back in and it goes back together like that and then you're back to where you were before. One of the other parts to this is when you're trying to pull your string through, the, uh, I don't know whether you can see, but the holes are extremely small in there. And there's one there, 
and there's one at the far end Oops, in there and to feed this it, it's kind of like uh, putting a thread through a needle it's a little tricky so what they've provided on the back of the incline is this little plastic thing here it's hard to get out unless you've got nice long fingernails and it's got a little hook on the end if I'm not sure whether you can see that there and uh, so basically what happens is that you can open up this this door here you can stick it down through there hook your string on and pull it through and then yet again in, in this piece here you can stick it through the hole in there hook it on pull it out so there's a couple of things about uh, just setting up your incline that you should know one is in the pin you can um, you tie a little knot and then you I don't know what you can see but in this slot you leave the knot there and then you bring the cable up and you put a little loop in the cable like so slide it over the pin and pull it tight and that locks it into place the other thing is if you pull your cable out about oh I don't know six inches or so and having trouble here put a knot in it like so just a little knot it doesn't, oops, can you see it just right there so what that does is because this hole is really thin and it tends to get caked up with um, just bits of dust and stuff working with the uh, you know the sawdust and stuff what this does is as it goes through the hole it cleans out the hole each time so you want it long enough that it'll go through both holes um, and it doesn't seem to get in the way or make any difference to anything else. When you first buy these they come with this little extra piece here that kind of slopes up here like that. Um, the reason for that is you can stick your pin in and then you can hold it like this and if you hold on the, the button it won't come out anymore. You can stretch it and snap your line like that without getting ink all over your fingers. I personally don't like it I find it kind of cumbersome so I, I usually cut them off um, and the way I do it is it's a bit more messy but uh, I just wrap it around a couple of times like that and pull it tight and it works very effectively just to make it complete um, should you need to attach the end on uh, your chalk line if you pull it out and put it through and then do I believe it's called the blood notch you turn the end like this poke it through the hole down here oops it's kinda hard to do it's a good fishing knot this too like so and then bring it up and put it back through the the hole and you should be able to tighten it up like that and it's nice and strong. So I'm sure the burning question is where do I get one of those cute little ink lines to uh, play with in my workshop? Well the answer is you can go to our website at the Log Builders Workshop and there under the tool section you'll be able to get a hold of one. Uh, Till next time play safe and this is David Edgeley for the Log Builders Workshop.